Alright, what's up YouTube? Justin's back. Um, today I'm going back to the drawing board and reassessing everything that I'm doing. So recently I found out that my parents are going to allow me to be able to compete in USAPL meets. So, USAPL, if you don't know what that is, it's a powerlifting federation which it has the most natty members in it. So, most people who are going to compete are natty. Obviously, there's going to be people who are on performance enhancing drugs, there always will be. But this is the most natty uh, federation out of all the power of the federations. So that's why I'm competing in it. So basically, uh, Sid, Alex Sidor, if you guys don't know who he is, I'll leave his channel in the description below. He was a big motivation uh, for me to start competing in power of the So I realized that my numbers are getting pretty high. <laughs> Potentially both of us, at least definitely him, he's a lot lighter than me. He's about 20 pounds lighter than me. He's gonna definitely set some world records. I'd like to set some records in the federation. So. We'll see how that goes, but basically recently what's happened is I've been going back and forth between programs. I've realized that for some reason I had this strange intuition that percentage-based programs, I needed to be running a percentage-based program when in reality you don't need to. You can be doing RPE programs perfectly fine just like I have been for the three years, but for some reason that just came in a wave of just I need to be on a percentage-based program, but which is completely false. So I'm going to go back to Reese's program, the one that I've been running for I don't know, about a month or two months. I'll be going back to that. But as you guys saw, I benched 315 uh, yesterday and then I, I squatted 415. So there's a, those are both PRs. Uh, the bench was a 15 pound PR. As previously, I did 300 about two months ago. So 15 pound PR in two months is all right, but it was pretty fast. So I think I'm more in the tank. But my squat 415, that was definitely a grinder. So that was a 10 pound PR in about a month, a month and a half. So those are where my numbers are now. My deadlift, I'm gonna try sumo. Uh, this week is actually gonna be specifically experimenting with sumo to see and try to learn it, uh, start working with actual weights for different sets and rep schemes. Uh, basically try to get the motor pathways on sumo nailed down to a T. I've been doing conventional for pretty much ever since I started training. So sumo is a big change, but it should allow me to get my hips closer to the bar and put more power in the bar, which leading into bigger numbers. So what I decided to do is to go back to the drawing board. I've been going back and forth between programs. I was, like I said, I was on the phase where I felt like I needed to be on a percentage-based program, which is completely false. I'm gonna be going back to Reese's uh, top set program, which has a scheme. If you guys haven't um, clicked the link in the description from my past videos where I mentioned Reese's program or you're new, I'm going to be writing the essential base of Reese's program, how it, um, how the base of the strength uh, programming is basically ran in the specificity of the program. So the whole gist of the program is there's always going to be a top set. So what a top set means if you're not used to what that, if you've never heard of that before, basically you're going for an all out set and he has a top, like the top sets in the program will either be reps of five, three, or one. So you go for a top set of five, three, or one, depending on what the day is, depending on what the left lift is. And they're obviously going to be for the bench, squat, and deadlift. Which are the three uh, main compound movements to powerlifting. If you don't know that, you should. But basically, you'll do, depending on what day it is, you do a top set of five, three, or one. That's the main strength uh, part of the program. You're gonna really focus on that top set. That's where you're going all in. That's what you're preparing for the day leading up to going to the gym and whatever top set you have. You have that number in your mind of what you think you can hit, and you just go all out and you do whatever you can to get the weight up. So after you do the top set for, okay, so for the top set of five, depending on the bench squat middle day, the back offsets, you will have back offsets, different rep ranges for the top set. So for five reps, you will do three sets of 10 for three reps, you three sets of eight, and for one rep, you will do three sets of four. So 
what I'm gonna tell you right now is for this, for the three sets of 10, I would take it a lot easier if you wanna be able to run this program and maintain um, progression without fatigue because you will get fatigued if you go all out on three sets of 10 because that's a lot of volume. So what I normally do is I actually have different RPEs for different volumes for different back off sets. But this, the five rep, three rep, and one rep will always be max. Every time you're gonna to try to do as much as you possibly can. So basically in terms RPE 10, as much as you can do. And then for three sets of 10, I probably do RPE seven. If you don't know what RPE is, it stands for rate of perceived exertion, which is basically how difficult the sets are and the sets and reps are judging by how difficult it is, basically how you feel doing it. So RPE, like it's a scale of one to 10, so seven, meaning you're, you're trying kind of hard, not really hard, but you're really focusing on form. So for three sets of 10, you're not really trying too hard because you just did a five rep max, but you are still trying decently hard, just focusing on form mainly you know, for the three sets of 10. For the three sets of eight, I'd probably go with RPE eight, meaning so more difficult. The sets are gonna be more difficult at three sets of eight than they would have been on three sets of 10 because the volume is less. So pretty much you'll get the, gist of it, as the reps get lower, it's always three sets, but as the reps, the volume will get lower, the RP will go up because you wanna try harder because you will not get as fatigued with three sets of four at RPE 9.5, which is what I'm about to put, RPE 9, because it's lower volume. So basically that's the gist of the program in terms of strength and for the bench squat and deadlift and it depends on what day you're on. So that's the moral gist. And there's of course accessories. Now accessories you're always gonna wanna do RPE, I'd say eight, you try decently hard, you mainly focus on getting the contraction. The accessories are literally just to uh, build muscle mass and get um, more muscle mass to support you when you do your compound movements. But there's main accessories, so there's like uh, in terms of barbell rows, um, barbell, Barbell rows and then deficit deadlifts, stiff leg deadlifts, close grip bench, pause bench, those are all accessory movements to your compounds, specifically to improve your, an assistance for your compound movement to get basically heavier, your overall one room max. So what you're gonna do for that, you're not gonna treat it like your other accessories, you're gonna go a little harder than your other accessories. So I'd say like RPE 8.5 when you're doing those, ex their, those accessories. So basically, that's basically what I wanted to try to do. I wanted to try to explain the program that Reese made and the program that I'm gonna be running. Today I actually have a top set of three and three backup sets of eight on squat today, which you guys will see. And yeah, I'm basically coming to USAPL. I'm coming full force, full throttle, trying to get as strong as I can. This is the program I'm gonna leave in the description. This is of course for an advanced lifter like me. So it, I mean, the way I define novice, intermediate, and advanced lifter is depending on your squat, bench, and deadlift max. So if your squat, bench, and deadlift max is um, over 400 squat, over 300 bench, over 500 deadlift, then you're an advanced lifter. Uh, my deadlift is lacking a little bit. My deadlift has always been lacking, but I still consider myself an advanced lifter because I have way over a 300 and 400 pound squat. A 300 pound bench and, three, and 400 pound squat. So basically I'm switching to sumo. I'm gonna be trying out sumo throughout this program for the first time. I've never ran a program uh, a while of doing sumo deadlift, so yeah. I'm probably gonna compete in USAPL on June 1st. I don't know exactly, but definitely sometime this summer. Uh, I need a lot of time to basically run this program for the off season. I have to wait for a, a peaking uh, program. That's completely different. That's something for powerlifting if you're gonna compete. It's basically a program that leads up to your one rep max on your squat bench and deadlift. So that's all I have to say for this. I'm about to get adjusted at the chiropractor and then head to the gym. So see you guys later. And so I forgot to mention that I'm gonna have a mock meet after I run this uh, three week training cycle on Reese's program. After I finish the three week training cycle, I'm gonna take a deload, which is basically a week off. I just do come in about two times the week in the week and do three sets of three on the bench squat and deadlift at 60 or 50% of my runner max. It's very lightweight just to keep the motor pathways 
and ba it's just basically recovery. Deal is basically for recovery. So I am going to have a mock me after I run the three week training cycle, and these are my goals. I want to hit a 430 pound squat. I want to hit a 325 pound bench and a 525 pound deadlift. That's my goal. I think the deadlift is pretty um, humble. I think I can probably hit more than that, but we'll just see what happens with the program. As I run the program, I might change this a little bit because it just, I don't know, my expectations might be a little too high, a little too low. So they might vary as I run through the program. Whatever I hit for like the top sets will kind of like give me a gist of what I'll probably hit. So yeah, that's that about kind of training. I'm trying to like get my head in the game again since I'm gonna compete in USAPL pretty soon. Um, I'm really excited, of course. I've been wanting to compete for a while now. My parents finally, I finally got to my parents. They finally realized that this means a lot to me. So I'm gonna be hitting a USAPL meet this summer. So I'll definitely record that. Also, shout out to Sid. He's hitting insane numbers. Um, I wanna congratulate him on his recent PRs. He uh, hit a 525 pound deadlift. He hit recently actually 500 for two. That's, that's a crazy PR. And he's just been throwing around 405 on squat for multiple sets of five and four. And I just think that's kind of crazy there. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and his bench is, he's definitely gonna hit a 315 bench in no time. You guys will probably see it soon. So look out for that. But uh, I'm probably gonna not record anything when I'm at the chiropractor, but I might. And if I, if I don't, then you'll just, the next clip you'll see is me at the gym and hitting some big PRs. So yeah.
side. day continuing the, from yesterday what you guys saw was my leg day and I kind of filmed a little bit talking about programming and my goals so this is the next day I'm gonna kind of record a little vlog I'm going to I'm actually about to eat my first meal I got up and showered I got up pretty late today around 11 11 30 so a little bit of a late start but we're still going at it I'm gonna eat my first meal it's about to be two burgers with strawberries and probably a cup of OJ and some water, a big cup of water. Always get your hydration early on in the day. So yeah, I'll show you guys this meal.
Thank you.